Mobile Man, the, the booth that we have, our company is very good about that. We are, are at a lot of the different home shows and job fairs and different things, uh, both hiring people, but also just offering our services to people that uh, either are in need of them currently and didn't realize we existed, or perhaps in the future will be in need of our services. And it's a good fit that we happen to let them know about what we do now. Um, what what I, I want to, to mention is, and I, I had a guy, a colleague of mine would say that he would try this on people as a, just a little test or a little survey. And he, he would go up to someone and say, listen, if I could tell you that you, you have damage, okay? And that if you allow me to help you, I can get you more of, or a larger settlement at the end of the claim process with my service than if you do this on your own. Would you like my help to do so? Or would you want to just handle the claim all on your own? And he'd say, I, I, I want to see how many people say which. Well, you think about it. What would you say if somebody were to say to you, look, I see you've had damage. You're going to be filing a claim. Now, if you enlist my help, I have the ability to represent the claim, to walk through the whole claim process and interact with the insurance company a whole lot better than you do. <clears throat> Would you like me to help you and get you a larger settlement or would you like to just go and, and represent yourself during the claim process and take care of it? What do you think most people are going to say? I would like to think that if what with what was just said, they would say, oh, well, hey, I definitely want your services. Well, there are times people, I guess because they don't believe us or they just have that much confidence in themselves or just what? I don't know. Um, I guess the majority of the time would be is that they don't really believe that that could be possible. Uh, but believe, this happens every single day. Uh, we're trained to do this. You don't have that training. Just like whatever your vocation is, you know, you are a carpenter or you drive a truck or you work a forklift in a warehouse. Um, I would not want to be going to, to pull a pallet off of a shelf and have to go load that onto a truck. Um, I'm sure the guy that does that on a regular basis can do a much better job than I. But I have my strength as well. I just described a weakness for me. A strength would be understanding your insurance policy, understanding what needs to be done to represent a claim properly to the insurance company to make sure you get paid fairly. There's my strong point. Why wouldn't you as a homeowner take me up on it and maximize what your payout, what your settlement will be due to the fact that you've had a loss? I mean, it makes perfect sense to do this. So think about that, guys, gals. Uh, when you do have damage, talk to somebody that is a public adjuster. I don't know. I mean, there's that friendly guy I see around all the time. What's his name? St yeah, Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. Get him involved. He can help you. Uh, he, he's out there to help you. There's no question about it. Yes, if he helps you and you get a nice check, he gets help too. Absolutely. I, I'm not going to make any bones about that. Mix those bones, right? Mix it up. Nice salad. No, 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 no. I'm, that, that's how I get paid. That's, that's, that's my job. Um, and, and I take it very seriously. And I want to do the best I can for you for that simple reason. The better I get and the more money we get for you, the happier you're going to be, aren't you? And the happier you are, hopefully, would equate into I can rely on you when, when you know somebody has damage that you would refer them to me. When your neighbor tells you that something just happened with them, that hey oh that happened well guess what i know this guy he really helped me a lot you need to talk to him there's absolutely nothing wrong with that that's called a referral that happens every single day of the week i mean do you ever go to the doctor and and the doctor when you go in there and oh my back's been killing me doctor and he looks at things and well, i can give you these muscle relaxers but what you're describing it seems like there's a lot more going on I'll tell you what let me go to see this guy isn't he just giving you a referral to go see somebody else? 
or if you go to the dentist. I mean, when I was first growing up, you went to the dentist, he pulled your teeth, he drilled the teeth, he, he did all these things, right? Over the years, somehow they evolved and they, they made these specialties where, well, this dentist, he'll go in and, and drill the tooth, then he gotta go to the other guy and he'll put a filling in, well, it's not quite that bad. It's getting there though. But the dentist today is, he'll look at a tooth, oh, that's bad. Here, call this guy, he'll go and, um, He's an oral surgeon or whatever the title is. He can help you. Let, let him take care of that for you. I, I don't want to mess with that. Uh, again, you're getting a referral. We get referrals every day of the week, right? You go into a bakery shop and you say, oh, I'm getting this, I'm doing that. Uh, we're going to have a party and my sister's coming in from whatever. Oh, you know what? You should call who you're calling. They, they come in, they do nice food. You know, you got the desserts with us. Perfect. But now you can, oh, that's another referral. So what's the big stink? You know, I have sometimes some insurance adjusters that, that talk about, oh, do you know they get referrals from people? Hey, referrals is, you get referrals from people too. So referral that, how's that? So, you know, bottom line is, if you need some help, I'm here to help you. If you want it, just reach out and ask me. Uh, I know what the policy says. I know what the process is. I know what conditions need to be met. You don't. Let us do our job and you'll be happy and you'll be grateful you did. Guys, I really appreciate you listened. I hope it made sense. Let it sink in. And I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you very much. If you liked it, would you give me one of these? If it wasn't so nice, you know how to do that too. Uh, would you please share it with others? And of course, uh, would you please subscribe to my page? I'm going to be here on YouTube for a long time. I'm going to keep making videos. I'm going to give you information and I hope that you learn from it. Guys, God bless you and have yourself a good evening. Bye now.